Hello, I am Derek Ross with Fandroid.com, and this is an exclusive first look at the Avia Media Player here that now has Chromecast support. As you can see, I can add media from cloud storage, from local storage, or network. So cloud storage allows you to utilize media stored out on Facebook, Dropbox, and Google Plus Photos slash Picasa. More sources are coming, they informed me, such as drive support and possibly more are on, are on the roadmap. So right now, if you are... In the cloud storage, Avia is going to be the app for you, and more sources are coming. Local storage is local SD card as well as you know local storage. So anything you store on your phone is going to, or your tablet is going to be available. And network is your DLNA slash you know, media server. So let's take a real quick look here. So photos, I'm going to go into my folders, or I could hit all. I'm going to hit folders here just to show you the differences between everything, and I'm going to hit Dropbox. Here are my Dropbox photos. I've uploaded a few here just for an example. So I can cast and stream and view content right from there. Go back to folders here. Data, which is my local data on my phone. I know they're in this folder here in camera. So here are camera photos that I've taken with my Moto X. I'm going to go back to folders and I'm going to choose Facebook. It's going to connect to my Facebook account and pull in photos. Let's check out some mobile uploads that I uploaded forever ago. And I can scroll down through the list here or individually click one and have that casted or streamed and viewed. All right, so let's go back to folders and hit Picasa. Picasa in my pre-production build does take a few seconds to load. That could also be because I have tons of video content and pictures out there. All right, so it loaded here after about three seconds or so. All my albums are out there. I'm going to hit auto backup and boom, here's every photo I've ever posted, auto backed up, yada 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 to Google Plus and Picasso. They're all out there. And I can go ahead and view those on Chromecast if need to. And that's what my hands-on demo with Chromecast will be here in a few seconds. I'll show you how actually pictures work and videos work. Speaking of videos, um, I can break this down by folders or hit all videos. I'll show you what the all function does and this shows you every video that I have on my DLNA server as well as my Google Plus and my Facebook and my Dropbox and local storage. So they're all out there and I can go ahead and pick one to play. So I'm going to hit the Chromecast button here to show you that I could Chromecast. I can Chromecast to whichever Chromecast device I have. And also the settings here allow you to choose your layout preferences based on orientation or your layout based on you know, thumbnails or a list. There are no themes available yet. Themes are coming. There's also a DJ mode or a jukebox mode for playing music. And Okay, so let's check out how these actually cast on the, on the Chromecast. So I'm here. I have a, a Via up and running. And I'm going to select my living room Chromecast. And as you will see, a Via loads up. And it's ready for me to choose my music videos and photos to view. So let's go ahead and choose something. I'm going to go to photos and I'm going to hit folders so I can specify which picture I want. We're going to go to Picasa. Like I said, it takes a second for Picasa to load. But once it loads, we should be good here. And I'm going to hit my auto backup photos. <clears throat> and oh what should we cast let's let's cast a let's cast a picture of the California mountains I took while out in uh, San Francisco so there's that picture let's go down here and here's a picture of uh, the Easter Bunny <laughs> looks like my my niece and my other niece and my son with the Easter Bunny Alright, so we're going to scroll down here. Here's some beer. And there's some there's some beer. Oh, let's see. Here's uh, all sorts of pictures of my kids. <laughs> Alright, here's a picture of my son when he was, I don't know, probably two years ago. 2011, by looking at the image file name. So like I said, these are coming in from... Google Plus slash Picasa. There he is eating. All right, so let's go back to folders, and I'm going to go to data, and we'll go to local, local pictures here, which come up a, a lot faster. All right, so here's a local picture. Let's 
and there's a picture of just grass. Really interesting. Here's a picture of playing pickleball. My sister and my brother-in-law. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. Now it is in slideshow mode, so every couple seconds it will put a new picture up. I guess I'll have to tell my sister and my brother-in-law thank you for putting them uh, on the spot here without them even knowing it. So it's scrolling through automatically. And as you can see here on the phone, I have my toggles up top to control to go back, to go forward, and to go ahead and pause. So let's check out playing a, a video while these pictures are scrolling through here. I'm going to hit all videos here and just scroll down to, there we go, Charlie Brown Christmas since it's almost Christmas time. So this is playing from my local DLNA server. And it says, sorry, the Chromecast does not completely support this video type. And that's okay because not all video types are supported by Chromecast. Let's go down here and try to find one that is. Oh, let's try... Let's try a Curious George video that I have. And there it's playing. So I'm casting a Curious George video for my kids to watch on Chromecast. Alright, so let's go back to, to photos and do some photo mirroring. Some photo casting. I'm going to go back. I'm going to choose Facebook photos. I hit mobile uploads and it's going to now immediately switch over to a picture of the Penn State hockey rink that I took. So as I said, if you are somebody that is heavily into local media, locally stored media or cloud storage media, being able to cast your own photos and your own videos on Chromecast is going to be a plus. Those of you that have a DLNA server with a lot of encoded media, certain movie files are not supported by Chromecast. And then the Avia app does not do any type of transcoding. So if you have a DLNA media server that can handle some of that for you, then you might be fine. But I was able to play some content on Chromecast though, but not all content is supported. Alright, so let's... Uh, take a look one last time at casting here you can control the the volume as you can with any other Chromecast app and I have notification toggles up here showing me what I'm playing I'm currently playing a photo I took in oh, I believe that's East Hampton New York a beautiful sunset right there I can go ahead and hit back to view the other photo this picture of my wife actually hi Katie and there's a, there's a picture of my wife spending my money buying a <laughs> buying a ring. That's actually a picture I took with Google Glass. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and exit, and it's gonna go back to Chromecast. All right. So if you have any questions about how the Via app works with Chromecast, what content you can stream from where, go ahead and check us out at Fandroid.com. You can also follow us on social media on Twitter at twitter.com slash fandroid and YouTube, youtube.com slash fandroid, facebook.com slash fandroid, and as well as plus fandroid on Google+. Once again, I'm Derek Ross, and happy casting.